or GMGM Crypto, another short, sharp video from me, Ichitoshi. Just a very quick one, how to mint, deploy, and inscribe STX20 tokens. These are the new tokens that are native to Stacks. You're going to need a Stacks-enabled wallet, so Hero or Xverse. You're going to need some Stacks. So you're going to want to go over to Coinbase, Mexi, any exchange, basically, that you're comfortable with. Get some Stacks, the ticker's STX. Buy that, that's what you're going to be using. Once you've got your Stacks, you're going to want to load it into a wallet. I'm using my leather wallet. You can use an Xverse wallet too. Now this is very important. Once you've got a little bit of stacks in here, so I've just got a little bit there, we're good. You're going to want to open up a different wallet and copy that wallet's address. So I will open this one, Ocarina. I'll copy the stacks address for Ocarina. Now you can copy here where it says stacks NFT, or you can just copy the stacks address. They are actually the same. So. With Bitcoin, you have to be very careful if you're doing inscriptions, of course, but with these, you can use either. It's good practice just to press this one, just because just it is. But anyway, <clears throat> you've got an alternative stacks address to the one that you have connected to the site with. So then we're going to switch back to that original wallet. So now I'm back in my original stacks wallet with my other stacks address copied. Now we're going to navigate back to this first stacks address that we had before. This is the one that I've connected to the website with. Now, I'm not sure if this makes a difference, but I just do this because it's good to be in the wallet that you're paying with rather than the one that you're receiving with. But anyway, what you will do is connect to this site here on the top right hand corner. I've obviously connected to it already. You can go on the Explorer tab here. You can search for tickers here. So you can search for Pepe. And that will show you that this is done. Pepe has already been minted out. Uh, we can look for Stacks S. This was the first token on Stacks. That's also minted out, but you can look in here and find tokens that are available. Now there is one that's available that I think will do quite well called 8. So you type in the number 8 and it will show you here, this is the ticker here. So 8, with 88 million supply, 2 million already inscribed, 88 per mint. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. You don't have to do this one, you can do any you like. So if you're going to do one, you're going to check on here to make sure that there is some available for you to mint. And we can go navigate to the inscribe tab here. Now if you wanted to deploy your own token, you would search first, like I did before, to make sure that it isn't available. And you would go here, put your ticker, you put your supply, put your limit per mint, and then where you want to receive the deploy contract. But we're doing a mint one, so I'm going to show you how to mint. So the ticker that we're doing was 8. So we type in 8. Now you'll notice if you put in something here that's not right, like Hooper ticker does not exist. So if it doesn't exist, it will tell you. So at least that's something that's quite good. So 8 is the ticker. The amount we want to do the maximum, which is 8,888. The destination is the other stacks wallet that I copied from earlier, if you remember. Then you're basically going to pay with the wallet that you connected to the site with. Now, <clears throat> it's very important, as it says here, make sure you are minting to a different stacks address than the wallet that you have connected with. This is why I copied to my keyboard earlier. As long as that's all confirmed here, we will press mint. So then open up an extension in your wallet and you'll see here it's sending 0 0.0001 stacks, which this is your actual inscription, to your recipient address. And you can change your fee here. Now at high mempool times and when there's a lot of people trying to mint a ticker, you are going to want to change this. So you would press this, you can put it as high or custom. I would strongly recommend custom when the mempool is extremely busy because a standard fee just won't get done. Your nonce, you do not want to edit this. You want to think of your nonce basically as your number. It will give you a number. So your first transaction will be 1, then 2, then 3, and so on. So you leave this all alone. I'm not going to use a custom fee. I'm just going to put it as standard because there's not a lot of people minting right now. But it's well worth noting this for future. In Hero, or Leather now, you can change this fee manually. You can do it in Xverse 2. It's just a little bit more button pressing. It's a similar process. Once this is all confirmed, press confirm in your wallet, and it is done, believe it or not. Now, in order to check your transaction, you're going to want to go back into your wallet that you just paid from. Because Stax uses uh, block transactions, very similar to Bitcoin, it will take 10 minutes or so to do this. So, you'll go to your activity tab here, and you can see all the previous actions that you've done, and the mints that you've done here. But the one that's pending, and the one that's most recently, that's the one we've just done. Now, Hero has a very interesting feature where you can increase your fee here manually. 
we can uh, look into this more later but for now we're going to just look at this and check it in the mempool so just press it right it will then open a hero explorer transaction id for the transaction that we just did as you can see here it says it's in the mempool you can check here that it's going to the correct recipient address and it's from the different payment address so this is all good there's your fee and here it says the memo it says mint eight so that's your ticker and that's the quantity 888 so that's all good we can look down here this is the block we're looking for to confirm and down here you can basically see your block transactions and we're waiting for this one here to confirm once this is confirmed your transaction up here will change and it will say confirmed in anchor block once it's confirmed in the anchor block what you can then do is navigate back to stacks here and you'll go on the explorer tab i probably should have copied that wallet that's the receipt wallet there so we'll copy this to clipboard Go back here and you search for. Just destroyed my microphone, but okay. Right, you would go back here to this website, uh, put your web, put your address in there, and then down here it'll say the tokens that you've actually got. So I have four thousand stacks in this wallet. I've got thirteen thousand Pepe and eight thousand eight hundred eighty-eight eight. So not bad. So it will show the token holdings that you've got in your confirmation here. So that is how you would mint one. There you go. So pretty easy. And as I was said before, to do a deploy token, you would have to check to make sure your ticker's available. So I'll do one that I know is available. As. As. All right, so we want to do as. Uh, with a token total supply of 21 million. Uh, with a mint of 1,000. That would be exactly the same as like Audi or any conventional ones. But these are a bit boring. So if you're gonna deploy one, I'd suggest having a little bit of a play around with these. I tried doing one with a decimalization, so like with a, with a decimal point in the mint and it didn't work. So I don't think you can do decimalizations. Uh, but besides that, you can do anything. Uh, so if you wanted to do like 69 million with like the 69 mint, people have done stuff like that. So you can change these as you want to make the tokenomics as you would like for your token. So yeah, it's quite interesting, quite fun. So obviously be safe, only transfer into your Stacks wallet what you're willing to play around with and lose. But yeah, have fun. STX20.